Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Black with me, Berserk Edge 111. And today we're gonna visit we're gonna explore Route 4. So the first thing we really want to do is head north. And yeah, I do open my menu a lot in this video for some reason. But he's in Sharon's up here and he's like, hey Philip, it's time to find out which one of those is a stronger trainer and so let's battle him. And Sharon, like Bianca, has four Pokemon. Well, although his is a, his levels are a bit higher, like a couple levels higher. So he's gonna first send out P Dove, and you're I'm gonna send out Steve Irwin because he's kind of the lowest level member of my team, and I get us with some experience, you know, against an oh, easy opponent. So I'm gonna let him use Bite, which is gonna do about ish I guess and he's used air cutter which fills up a little bit um, the sandstorm hits him and now that he's been damaged by the sandstorm enough to where bite can knock him out so that's a good advantage of a sandstorm that's why a lot of people run sandstorm teams and like different te some like the lower tiers or hell even some of the higher tiers so they're pretty cool but a sandstorm um, won't hit a Pokemon, will hit a Pokemon unless it's a rock, ground, or steel type. So keep that in mind. So he's going to just want to send in Pan Sage. I'm going to go with Daydar on this one. Of course, he's got type advantage. I probably could one with Darumaka, but nah, I'll go with Daydar. What the hell. And I'll let him use Air Cutter. Which. Uh, does most of it takes most of his HP away, and he's gonna use Leechy, which is an annoying move, which saps health every turn. Which now instead of when red, he's in orange, it sucks. So what we're gonna do now is just gonna hit him with another air cutter, and knock him out. Easy as that. I like air cutter's animation. It's like it's pretty cool. And Dadar levels up though, it's too yay. So, yeah, it's a best chance. I mean, he's one going to send in Pig Knight, which is the evolved form of Tepig, and so we're going to want to send in a little Wayne. So, of course, a water type has a great advantage over a fire type. That's, you know, what Pokemon 101, you know? So, little Wayne's going to come in. I don't know why I named him Little Wayne, I guess. You know, I, I, I'm a fan of Little Wayne's, and I guess I just want to fit a name a member of my team, I guess, after him. I don't know. Weird. And I'm just weird like that sometimes. And I usually use Bubble Bean. That takes about half about half of Pig Knight and uses this annoying Citrus Berry, which instead of restoring like 30 HP in the old games, it restores 30%. So it's kind of annoying. And he's going to keep hitting us with Flame Charge, which is annoying because it'll always increase his speed, no matter what. So it's basically like a speed increasing... Flame wheel. I think we can get it as a TM later in the game. But I think it's like really late in the game, like almost towards the end. But we're gonna use Bubble Beam and knock him out. Almost knock him out. And he's gonna use the buffeted by the sand so like one HP left. When you hit me, which is getting on my nerves. And Pig Knight is pissing me off, but I'm gonna use Lemonade on Lil Wayne and that's nah, gonna put him back at full health, because Lil Maze will pretty much put anything back at full health now. And another Flame Wheel does about half. I don't know why they changed it from Nitro Charge to Flame Charge. I don't get it. I mean, that's a questionable one. They could have kept it at Nitro Charge. I like that better. That sounds cooler. But Little Wing levels up again. Because I don't agree with some name changes they do with moves. I mean, I think they kept like Sacred Sword and stuff like that. That's a pretty cool name for a move. So. And he's going to send out Light Part next, which is the evolved form of Purloin. Pure Dark type, pretty fast, decent attack. So we're going to want to use Leaf Tornado on this guy. Leaf Tornado does 
most of his health. And he's going to use Pursuit, which, if you don't know about Pursuit, it'll inflict more damage if you switch out. So it's a very time-based move. So just be careful of that. Just be careful. That's what I have to say. And just vine with it to death. Yay. How does a vine whip kill something? That's the part I don't get. You guys have to lamp me on that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But now, uh, D's like saying stuff about the trust between me and my Pokemon and all blah, blah blah and the banana phone, banana phone rings and we pick up the banana phone. I'm gonna call it the banana phone. And there's Professor Juniper with her crazy pose. Weird. And she says she called Bianca but didn't hear it. And she's I'll call her later and she wants us to meet in front of the gate to Dimbasa City. So that's our next objective. So after Sharon runs off, we're gonna wanna go uh, basically the next thing we have to do is head southwest for a second. I don't know why I was fooling around with my menus so much. I don't know. I think I was fooling around with some items or something. So I changed my leader a lot around in this video. Weird, so hope you guys don't mind that. If you want to just skip the parts where I do all that, you're more than welcome to. I probably should have cut them out, but, eh. I don't like putting all that extra work into it. Okay, we just head southwest, and we talk to this guy, and says he tells us about the darker sand, which has Pokemon in it, of course. So be wary of that, and we'll find next accuracy, which, of course, like the other other X moves, it's situational, and I'm not, I don't really care about it. So I'm gonna head north here, and we talk to this guy up here, and he's like deep in the desert here, up here, the resort desert. Some ru ruins lie, so. Okay, seems like something we could check out. And they have just a ton of backpackers around here. I mean, this is a huge route. But um, he's gonna send a Darmaka. We've seen a few Darmaka up to now. So we're gonna just want to switch out to Little Wayne. I didn't actually really bother to heal after that last battle. But nah, I ain't gonna worry about it too much because Fire Fang actually puts a little way in red. Kinda scared me for a minute, but I'm just bubble beam in OHKO him. Actually the little Wayne's actually the thing decently fast. Or something like that. I mean he outspeeds speeds a few things. Surprisingly so I mean he's a good war type. And use another eliminator. I mean, eliminators are valuable. I'll I mean you're gonna at least I'm I'm gonna say bring at least fifteen of them with you. Just to have as well, pretty much fully restore your Pokemon's HP at this point, and that's and they're for 350. I mean, that's a steal compared to a super they call 700. So next, we're gonna find a burn heal, which I think the only thing that can really burn you is Darumaka. Which speaking of Pokemon, the other Pokemon I think you can find here are Scrafty and Sandile. So that's just the three Pokemon you can find around here in this area of it, but you can find other Pokemon later, in the later areas that I'm going to go to. I mean, Scrafty, I think, is a dark fighting type, which, that's a very unique combination. So, I mean, he's completely immune to psychic moves, and other things, and he has got pretty good attack. I think good defenses, I think he's decently fast, I mean, I don't think he's slow. So, he's probably a pretty good addition to your team, if you have the room. And this guy wants to battle us. It's weird. He sends out Blitzel. And I'm going to send out Sandile. I'm going to send out Steve Irwin. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, I, I remember ooh, about Steve Irwin. I mean, I was like, it was like, what was it, like in 2006? I remember it was almost Labor Day. And uh, the, the, I think I was watching TV with my mom or something. It was This was early in the morning. I don't think I could slept or something. And I looked up to Steve Irwin a lot. I mean, he was one of my favorite people. You know, I had a lot of just a lot of respect for him and what he did, what he does, or did. And I watched his show 
the crocodile hunter a lot. I mean, that was a show I watched when I was growing up, you know. And I heard that he that it flashed on the screen. I can just remember like it was yesterday. He name flashed on the screen. It said Steve Irwin, 1960 something to 2006. And I was like, it took me a while. I'm, I'm taking me a minute to realize, and I just broke down crying. I was like, oh, and stuff. I was, I was pretty upset about it. I mean, this some guy I really looked up to, you know. That was a pretty sad moment. I'm sure a lot of other people probably felt the same way. You know, he was a really good guy. I think mean, my crocodile Steve Irwin in honor of him, right? And, well, with that, we'll go up here and this worker, for some apparent reason, is spinning around in a circle. I don't know why. Uh, he may be having a panic attack or is doing some kind of drug, but I don't know. And he's like, I'm in the middle of construction. I don't know what construction you do while you're spinning around or something, but I don't want to know. So he's going to say Rock and Rollo, and I'm going to go with Umad here. I I'm not too sure about Umad's nickname. Uh, give me some feedback whether I should change it or not. I don't know what I should change it. I probably should have kept it as smugly, but eh, it's kind of generic. Because, I mean, like, a lot of people have named him excuse me, Smuggle Leaf. And I want to be a little bit different. I don't know, I might keep it, I don't know. Depends. And his timber is gonna use focus energy. I'm gonna use Leaf Tornado to almost kill. I don't know how it's around one HP. But he's gonna use Rock Throw, which does a little bit. Small hit. And that kills him. Smug levels up. Sorry, I called him Smuggle and you mad now. Excuse me. And he wants to learn Mega Drain, which that's pretty decent. I mean, it has 40 base power, but it's a special move, which restores half the damage you inflict. I was contemplating whether to learn it or not learn it. That's why it's taking me so long. Because if I keep leeching, I mean, it's a decent move that will give me health every turn, but Mega Drain will do the same thing. On the other hand, Mega Drain will do the same thing whenever I want to. And not have to worry, you know, worry too much about it. So that's what I'll do. Just learn Mega Drain. Because Bleachy is more for competitive battling anyway. Really. And this guy sends out Timber like the other guy. And just take care of him the same way. That's all you have to do. Take Mega... I actually use Mega Drain to almost kill him. And gain pretty much all the health I lost back in the last battle. And gain some experience if get out of here. Something that like speeding up battles, I don't know whether I, I don't know whether I should cut them out. I, I, stand with I speed them up because I mean it does cut down my video time a, a pretty good amount. I mean this was a 19 minute video and now it's, it's a shade under 16 minutes because I sped up all the battles. You know it's a lot less annoying I guess that way. I don't know. And before I forget, I'll show you guys something. Uh, it was actually back the way we came, so let's go back real quick. And it's, I don't see how those trucks see in the uh, sandstorm. That's kind of weird. And yeah, my, ref my repel wore off, but I ain't heard about too much. And my computer went black again. Stupid computer. It goes black when, of course, when it's idle. It's annoying. So basically, we uh, basically that route to the north actually takes you to Nimbasa City, but this part's optional if you want to do this part. I mean, I recommend it because you're gonna gain a lot of experience in doing it. And we talked to this guy, and we get TM28 Dig, which is a very cool move. I mean, it's a two-turn move, which the your Pokemon will go underground, then the next turn will appear and strike them. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna definitely keep that. Steve, because he can use he can use a better move than Santum. I didn't actually knew Santum was physical. I thought it was just like they lose hand at him or something, or created a quicksand or whatever. But it's a much better move. It works well with his good attack. <sighs> so next thing we want to do is go north up here.
it is keep going back where we came and I thought this was a double battle but it, I did it I put a Pokemon in my second spot in case but apparently it's not a double battle for some reason apparently there's like Taurus or something and I don't know I just thought it was because whenever I see like two people standing next to each other I always think it's a double battle At least I don't think they have in this game like the ones in Emerald where there are two people can gang up on you, I hope. But anyway. So we go to this northern place called the uh, Desert Resort or whatever. But I'm going to cover that in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, part 15 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Black. And I'll see you guys later. Alright. Bye.